Stopping a killer, a new application of stent grafts, is believed to be saving the lives of people who have chronic aortic dissection. Aortic dissection occurs when the inner layer of the aorta tears. It's one of the most fatal cardiovascular disorders that challenge experienced practitioners. In recent years, unexpected celebrity deaths are creating awareness, and now the spotlight is on a new procedure at Mercy Hospital St. Louis. Star of hit sitcom Growing Pains, Alan Thicke, collapsed while playing hockey with his son at an ice rink. He died hours later at a California hospital. Thicke was 69 years old. What killed him is the same thing that killed actor John Ritter at the age of 54. Ritter's death, more than a decade ago, created awareness to a condition evading many skilled practitioners. Now, celebrity deaths continue to shine the spotlight on an often undetected and undiagnosed killer called aortic dissection. The aorta is the large blood vessel branching off the heart. Aortic dissection occurs when the inner layer of the aorta tears. When blood surges through the tear, it causes the inner and middle layers to separate or dissect, which can lead to rupture, then death. It can only be repaired if it's diagnosed in time, often mistaken for a heart attack. People die. According to Thick's death certificate, the aortic rupture killing him occurred about three hours after the tear or dissection. Aortic dissection requires immediate surgery or death is sure and shocking to loved ones. His uh, aorta had dissected uh, from about breast high down to his belly. 64-year-old Richard Anconatani will never forget the shock of suddenly losing his 58-year-old brother. And that was not long after their dad died from an extension of a similar issue. After his brother's death, he was told it could be hereditary. They said it could be, you need to get your cells checked. There was five of us, five boys, and uh, all four of us went and were checked. I was the only one that had some kind of a, an enlargement in my aorta. So Richard underwent a major surgery. During the operation, he said the doctors witnessed something they had never actually seen before. He opened up when it dissected, and that's when it dissected, and they could see it dissect. He said that uh, I was pretty special to them because they've never seen it. Mercy vascular surgeon Dr. Vito Mantis was there assisting. Mantis made the emergency repair. The aorta is like a long tube uh, that carries all the blood in the body and it's carrying it under a lot of pressure because every time the heart beats, the blood is being pumped through the, this aorta. The blood can penetrate through part of the different layers and cause the aorta to weaken and dilate. And if it occurs too rapidly and at too great of an amount, the aorta can actually rupture and bleed and then a person would die. Now diagnosed with chronic aortic dissection, Dr. Mantis presented Richard with a new procedure for his condition. It's a new application of stent grafts, a new procedure to prevent aortic rupture and death. If a dissection occurs up in the top part, right as it comes out of the heart, that requires an incision on the chest to repair it. That's standard. But the part of the aorta in the chest further down could be treated with a stent. And the part, and if there's a dissection or an aneurysm that develops in the abdomen, that could be treated with a stent. The problem occurs when you try and complete the stenting of the area that has the branches to the blood vessels that go to the kidney as well as the intestine. And in order to connect this and treat the whole aorta, branches have to be supplied to the blood vessels of these kidneys and the intestine, and that becomes a very difficult process. And that's the novel part of this, is now that we can have techniques, we could treat the whole aorta just through small groin incisions rather than a large complicated operation on it with an incision on the chest and the abdomen. So the recovery is significantly less. Mantis gave Richard a lot to think about.
He says he's been cut open before, and the recovery is hard, so the fact that the approach is minimally invasive gave him more to think about. To go in through my groin, and I, I, I opted for that right away because I don't like this. I don't like this being opened. <laughs> Still, as a graphic artist, Richard had to put everything in perspective on paper. With pencil and paper, he created drawings to visualize what he was about to do. It was just knowing what it was. I could talk about it, uh, and I wanted it to make, I, I did it to make myself feel okay that we can do this and I can get through this. Um, it's not like they're gonna take that aorta out and replace it with something. They're gonna actually put something inside of it that'll strengthen it. So it, it just, it was a kind of a, my process of thinking it through so that, you know, everything went well. And he used them to explain to others. The drawings helped him know what he needed to do. Mantis says he's the only surgeon in the area and one of the few in the country performing the procedure. Now the whole aorta, including the lower part of the aorta, could be treated with stents too, and that's the novel part of this all. Mantis has been working hard over the years trying to bring awareness to this killer so that more lives can be saved. The biggest problem is diagnosis. They would have things like high blood pressure which would predispose them to uh, a dissection, but if you uh, look at them, you would say there's nothing wrong, and then almost instantaneously they change. Most doctors and lay public don't think that there's an aortic process, and so a lot of times these are misdiagnosed uh, as a heart attack or a blood clot, and the seconds are what counts, and it's not uncommon for people to die Think being treated for a heart attack when really they have an aortic dissection because the only treatment for it is an operation. And all the other things that we treat, like heart attacks and uh, blood clots, th those are medications. Uh, so the operation that's needed to be life-saving is frequently delayed until it's too late. He says when untimely celebrity deaths from aortic dissection occur, that's when the condition makes headlines. John Ritter's death, in particular. They thought he was having a heart attack and then realized it too late that it was an aortic dissection. Now there's this criteria called the Ritter criteria. It's supposed to help people uh, guide them to think about aortic dissection. And the reason it was developed is because once John Ritter died, there was a foundation developed for aortic dissections. And one of the things that came out of it is we're going to try and increase the awareness of aortic dissection so it's not missed it again. So they have this Ritter criteria that's supposed to alert people that this is an aortic dissection as opposed to something else. The hope is for more practitioners to diagnose in time and eventually use new techniques like this one. It was. It was very, very easy to recover from. Now that Richard's stent grafts are in place, he Robert says he feels like a uh, new man. He's more active than he's been in years. I've got more life in me. I feel younger. He only wishes that things leading up to this point could have been different. And maybe his story can help save others from suffering and give them a new lease on life. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.